Hello everybody, my name is Becca. Welcome back, or if you are new here, welcome. So I am going to be doing my first book haul of 2021. And honestly, strap in, because we got a lot to go through. I have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 18 books, which may not seem like a lot, but I bought these books, um, all in the last like three weeks so yeah that's kind of a lot but it's fine everything's fine um you know sometimes when you're sad you just gotta buy books it's just how it works i don't make the rules anyways um a lot of these books well i think i don't know we got a mixture of everything in here and um i'm just excited i'm excited to read like all of these books, which obviously I wouldn't buy them if I wasn't excited to read them, but I'm very excited. So, um, I'm going to start off with these two first, because they kind of go together. Um, the first one is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, and then, oh, the next one, this is the picture book of Prisoner, Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, oh, that's creepy. So, um, these ones, this one doesn't have a dust jacket because, um, well, both of them, my aunt just bought a new house and they bought it like fully furnished and stuff. And so the lady who they bought it from left a bunch of books there and she left both of these books and my aunt was like, here, I know you like books. So if you want to take these, like, if you want to like take some of these books, you can. And I was like, well, first of all, um, I need book six and seven for my Harry Potter, like this cover collection that I have and so now I have seven I need six but it's fine um and then I these are like 40 bucks at Target and she was like you can have it and I was like I will gladly take it off your hands so I got it oh my god look how cute I say look how cute it's actually cool I don't know what I'm talking about but <clears throat> yeah so I got those two I didn't t I didn't buy them so I was given them but I'm excited because now I just need book six of this cover and I'll have them all, which um, I know that they have it down at a bookstore that's like 10 minutes from my house and it's like the books are like cheaper there um, because they're used books, which is like totally fine with me. But I didn't get it because I found something else, which is the next book I'm about to show you. So I didn't buy that one because instead I bought throne of glass which i'm literally so mother effing excited for like i have been wanting to read this series for so long and i'm so glad i found it i found it for five bucks and like honestly what a steal like okay I, I don't even know what the throne of glass series is about like genuinely i have no idea um i'm assuming it has to do with this girl and she's probably gonna fight people i don't know but I'm just excited. I know that a lot of people have read it and a lot of people loved it. Well, actually, when I was buying this, like when I was checking out the cashier, she was like, have you read the, these books before? And I was like, no, it's my first time. And she was like, oh my God, you're in for a treat. And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah, we had the full box set here um, a few months ago when I like had to buy it and I bought it and I got like went through the books like so fast. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, now I'm like so excited to read it. So I got the first one. Um... How many are there? Aren't there like a lot? Like 12 or something? Or am I making that up? I could just be making that up. 2012? Oh, maybe there's only like eight or something. I have no idea. I don't know how many books there are in the series, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm really excited to start it because um, I've been wanting to for like literally a really, really, really long time. Okay, so the next book I got is King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. And I think, is this one new? I think it might be new, but I also could be making that up. Maybe I should do my research before I start talking. Okay, so it came out in 2019, so it's not new. Um, well, it's newer, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I bought it because of the cover. I thought the cover was super cool. I um, wanted to buy Shadow and Bone because I wanna read that. But at the same time, I was like, maybe I'll put off buying that because then if I buy the first one, I'm going to have to buy the last two. So I was like, okay, I'll just buy King of Scars right now because as far as I know, it's just a standalone book. I don't know. I have not 
read anything by Lee Bardugo yet. So, and again, I feel like she's like a lot of people's favorite author. So I need to like get on it. Um, so yeah, I think this one, this one I have on my top 21 books to read in 2021, I think. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, it's about a king, a war hero, a prince with a demon curled inside his heart. I'm a hoe for like royal family like books and not even like dysfunctional like royal family like stuff like that like I don't know there's just something about it I'm very excited to read this book the next book I have is don't close your eyes by Lisa McMahon so this book I have been wanting to get I'm not even kidding you since like 2017 oh my god I just realized that I think it's three books in one. Oh shit. I did not know that. Or am I making that up? I think it's three books in one. I mean, I'm not mad about it. I just wasn't expecting that. I just thought it was a big book. So this one I've been wanting to get since like 2017. Um, I found it in Barnes and Noble one day, but then I ended up not getting it because um, I don't know why. I, I got something else and I don't remember what it was because it was a long time ago. But, and then ever since I saw it and I read the back or like I read the, the synopsis of it, I was like, I want to read this book. But then I, for some reason, just didn't buy it. And then every time I would go to Barnes Noble, I would look for it and I literally could not find it anywhere. And I was like, what the hell? So I was like, I'll just order it from Amazon. And then I would forget about it. And then I would go to Barnes Noble and I'd be like, oh my God, I wonder if they have it. But then they never had it. So right before Christmas, I went to Barnes Noble and I found it. And it was the last copy they had. So I was like, I am buying this book. I'm buying this book right now. So I bought it and I'm excited for it. Um, literally, I've been wanting to read it for such a long time. And like, honestly, I could probably get this through this pretty fast. Like, I'm just shook that it's three books in one because this entire time, I literally just thought it was one book. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. New York best, New York Times best-selling trilogy. Oh my god, I'm literally a dumb idiot. I, Jesus. Am I okay? What is, what is wrong with me? So, okay, so it's three books in one. Literally three books in one, and I'm just dumb. So, anyways, um, I guess, I don't know if this counts as one book or if it counts as three books, but, um, yeah, I got this one, and I got this one, I got these three, and I'm excited to read them. So the next book I have is Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas, and this one, um, I don't remember who it was, but... I was watching somebody's video and they were talking about this book and I was like, I need to pick it up. So I went to Barnes Noble and I picked it up and I just want to show you what it looks like without the dust jacket because honestly, gorgeous. Like, can we just, I mean, come on. When, oh my God, I, like I might just take the dust jacket off and just leave it like this. It's so pretty. I had never heard of it until I saw that video. I can't even remember who it was. But, yeah. So I bought it, which, you know, it's fine. I'm excited for it anyway. Okay, I'm just going to read the little, like, thing that's on the back. It says, The spirit's face was screwed up tight in a grimace. His fingers knotted into the material of his shirt. He wore a hooded black leather jacket over a white tee, faded jeans, and a pair of Converse. That's not Miguel, Maritza tried to whisper, but she'd never had a very good inside voice. Yadriel groaned and dragged a hand over his face. On the bright side, he had actually summoned a real-life spirit. On the night, on the not-so-bright side, he had summoned the wrong one. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm like a hoe for paranormal um, ghost stuff. So this is like right up my alley. And I just, this is gorgeous. The inside is gorgeous. I, they say don't judge a book by the cover, but I always do. If it has a pretty cover, I'm probably going to buy it because I'm just drawn to them. And so if I see something like this, I'm going to buy it. So the next one I have is Bone Crier's Moon by Katherine Purdy. I hope I said that right. Um, 
Again, I don't know anything about this book. I know absolutely nothing about it. Um, I just know that I think there's a sequel coming out. Yes, there is a sequel coming out because I keep getting emails for it. It's called Bone Crier's Dawn. So yes, I'm excited to read this one. I think this one is also on my um, top 21 books to read in 2021. Like I honestly, again, I don't know anything about it. I know nothing about it. Um, I've heard people like mention it. I got this one confused with, I think it's called like Crier's War. I got it confused with Crier's War. So the entire time I thought this one and I thought Crier's War were the same book. So that just goes to tell you how dumb I am. Oh my god, I saw this little post right here and it scared the shit out of me. I thought it was a person standing there and I got really scared. I don't know. I don't know anything about this book. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I saw him on the cover and I was like, okay, okay, I gotta get it. So I got it. Again, they say don't judge a book by its cover, but that's all I do. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know. I literally don't know what this is about. I don't know. I don't even know what to say about it because I don't know anything. And like the thing is, is people are probably like, oh, we'll go read a summary of it or something on Goodreads. But like, I like going into books not knowing what's going to happen or what it like what it's about like I don't know I prefer to go into books like not knowing anything so that's why I'm really bad at the like describing books because I'm just like I don't know what to say because I don't really know what they're about but that's like fine with me and then um I'm gonna probably end up buying the second one before I even read the first one which is fine everything's fine Ooh, we got a map I love when books have maps. Is that weird? Let's move on to the next. So the next one I have is Legend Born by Tracy Dion. So this one again. Oh wait. Oh my god. Cool. Wait. Oh, I'm struggling. That's cool. I never even took the dust jacket off. That's dope. You know what? If they have something on the dust jacket, it's always cool. It's always gonna blow my mind. But this one um i've heard like absolutely great things about it mostly on booktube um and the review that like i've been hearing the most is that it is kind of like shadow hunter ish like it kind of has like the same vibes as like the shadow hunters which obviously if you know me you know i'm a hoe for shadow hunters so i was like okay Obviously, I'm gonna have to buy it, so I bought it, and um, I'm actually very, very excited to read it. Um, I might read it next month, or who knows, maybe I'll read it next, maybe I'll just skip my TBR and I'll just read this one instead. I'm like getting tired, I don't even know what to say anymore, I'm so tired. And for what? The next book I have is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Um, this is my first V.E. Schwab book that I've ever bought, which I'm excited for. Um, again, I've heard nothing but good things about it on booktube, and so, as a Target yesterday, I had a gift card, it was the last copy, it was 30% off, and I was like, I am buying this. And so this one, I believe, it's about a girl who, like, she, I think she, like, lives forever, but everybody forgets about her until, like, one day, like, a guy comes in and he, like, remembers her. I've just heard it's really good. Um, I didn't realize, I think it's an adult nonfiction? hello not nonfiction. I think it's an adult like fiction book um which I didn't I honestly didn't realize me being the dumb idiot that I am I thought it was YA I keep saying that I'm excited to read it but it's true I am excited to read them and I don't know what else to say but I just heard I've heard nothing but good things about this book so obviously I'm gonna be excited to read it when I hear you know nothing but good things I I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't- I'm like so tired. I don't know why I'm like this right now. I was like totally fine 10 minutes ago and now all of a sudden I'm like dying. Let's just move on before I like freaking fall asleep. The next one I have is Cursed by Thomas Wheeler and illustrated by Frank Miller. Um, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. The sticker. Look at this. I mean, come on. Anyways, so I bought this one yesterday shocker and the reason I bought it well first of all okay well that's okay let me restart I bought it because of the Netflix show obviously I'm a hoe for Daniel Sharman 
Um, I am literally in love with him. So I want to watch the show so bad, but I am one of those people who like I would prefer to read the book first before I watch the show or the movie or whatever. So I finally bought this because I had had enough and I was like, I just need to buy it because I just need to read it because I just want to watch this show. I straight up just want because I started uh, the Night Circus last night and I got like 25 pages in, but low key, I kind of just want to stop and I just want to read this. Like, I know I shouldn't, but I really want to because I really, really, really want to watch the show because I love Daniel Sharman, and I need to figure out who he plays in the show so when I read this, I know, like, who his character is so I can, like, picture him because I'm that person. That's like when I read, um, The Mortal Instruments, like, <laughs> literally every time I read The Mortal Instruments, I picture okay unpopular opinion i picture dom sherwood as jace okay i do not picture jamie campbell bauer because i i don't know what it is maybe it's because i'm in love with dom sherwood who knows um but that also could be the case but i i just think he made a better jace than jamie campbell bauer and i'm so sorry please don't come for me i'm probably people are probably gonna be mad because i know that it's usually the opposite but i i don't know i just when i picture jace i picture dom sherwood just like, and I know, I know people <sighs> picture Jamie Campbell Bauer, but I don't know. And I just think everybody in the show, like the show kind of sucked ass the first season, but like everybody was good, like casted like well, except Kat McNamara, I'm sorry, but she was like horrible in the first season and she kind of ruined it for me. Um, then she got better, but like Matt Daddario as Alec and Harry Shum Jr. as Magnus Bane. Emrod as Izzy? Like, it, it was just perfect. Okay, anyways, that's beside the point. So, back to Cursed. <laughs> Sorry. So, yes, and look at this. Check this out. This is like a heavy book. It's thick. I honestly might just, I think I'm just gonna take the dust, dust jacket off of this one. Oh, so then what was the point of me taking the sticker off if I'm just gonna take the dust jacket off anyway? Friggin' dummy. But like, I, don't, I just like how it looks without the dust jacket like it's just like matte like I'm I i do not know how to how to like explain it like I don't know it's like a heavy duty book though and I didn't realize that there were like actual like illustrations in it and it's like a th she thick she a thick book honestly might skip my tbr and just read it now along with um legendborn there's like no point in me having a tbr because I am just gonna skip over everything on it and I'm just going to end up reading, like, every new book I get. And then I'm just going to leave all the other books on my shelves and, like, not read them. So, I need to stop my books. That's the moral of my story. Moving on. Okay, so this one I'm super excited about. I found it. I've been wanting to read it for, like, a long time. And I found it at, again, that local bookstore. And it was, like, super cheap. And that is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. Um, again, I think there's a sequel coming out, like, soon. Oh, hello. So, I'm excited to read this one. Again, I don't really know what it's about. I just think that there's, like, um, I think there's, like, girls on an island who, like, have to quarantine because there's, like, something, like, I don't know if it's, like, a sickness or, like, I mean, I mean, I'm assuming it's a sickness, right? Yeah, and then somebody, like, goes missing and it's just, like, and I heard that it's, like, kind of sci-fi, like, supernatural-ish or, like, paranormal-ish. The next one I have, I bought yesterday, of course, and that I had, like, never heard of it. And this one is Cast in the Firelight by Dana Swift. So, look, I'm not gonna lie, the reason I bought this book is because this cover, for some reason, made me think of this cover, and I, if you know me, I fucking love this book so much. So, in my brain, I was like, you need to buy this because it reminds you of this. And so, by default, it's going to be good. And I was like, you are right, brain. Granted, I have no idea what this is about. Um, it's like a prince and a princess. I think they're arranged to be married, but then they b both, like, end up being witches or something. And so, they're trying to stop somebody else from, like, taking over the kingdom. But... I don't know. I saw it and it made me think of The Princess Will Save You and I was like, wow, I love that book. So obviously I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy this one because it looks like it. It doesn't even really look like it now that I look at it. 
but I don't know the art style just reminded me of it and I was like I wasn't gonna buy it I like walked away from it and then I was gonna get something else but then my brain ended up just keep like it kept going back to this one and kept thinking about it and I was like all right I'm just gonna get it so I ended up just getting it so the next book I have I already have multiple copies of it but I found this for five dollars at that bookstore and so obviously I had to buy another copy and that is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. So I got this one obviously because it's the TV tie-in version and my man's Jace right here, Dom Sherwood, is on the cover. And I, listen, I'm going to go back to what I was saying earlier on a book that didn't even have anything to do with the mortal instruments, but it's fine. The way that I love Dom Sherwood is Jace. I'm so sorry. I know, I know... I know that a lot of people did not like him as Jace, but the thing is, as I did, <laughs> I loved him as Jace, okay, and I, I don't know why the show, like, the first season sucked ass, but, like, seasons two and season three, like, got so much better, like, they were actually really good, and just, oh my god, him as Jace, I mean... It was perfect. I loved him as Jace. So whenever I read like any of the Mortal Instruments series or like any of the Shadowhunter Chronicles and Jace is in it, this is who I picture. I picture Dom Sherwood. Like I don't, and like the same, like, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I do picture Lily Collins as Clary just because she like annoyed me in the first season. And so it kind of like ruined it for me. I'm so sorry. But like, I don't know. There's just something about Dom Sherwood as Jace, and I, I'm not mad about it. I can't complain. Like, he, I, I think he was perfect for Jace. Like, I, I don't know. I really liked him as Jace. I know I said that, like, ten times, but I did. And I prefer him as Jace to Jamie Campbell Bauer, and I'm so sorry. Please don't attack me. So glad I got, the, I got, I got this copy. I got the actual movie copy. Um, I have, I have a lot of different coffee, coffee hello coffees I have a lot of different copies of city of bones which is fine with me like i'm not complaining because i love channel hunters so anyways i'm like in love with this i'm so glad i found it the next one i have is alex approximately by jen bennett um so this one i'm a, i okay so it's like a love story that's what i'm getting from it um this one i found on I think I found it on like I don't remember what it was I found it on like a book website like a long time ago and I read it and I was like oh my god I want to get that book but then I just never ended up getting it and so when I found it at the bookstore I was like at like that one bookstore that I've been going to I was like oh my god I have to get it so I ended up getting it and I'm pretty excited to read it. I used to be like super against like rom-coms and like love stories and stuff but for some reason I am now becoming a sucker for it and I don't know what changed but I am now a hoe for a good love story which is saying something because I don't like rom-coms. I can't stand rom-coms. They make me depressed um, and I don't usually like romance books. But now, for some reason, I'm, like, into it. Okay, the next one I have is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. And look, oh my god, look, you can see the reflection of everything. Um, can we just talk about this? This is, like, gorgeous. It's the collector's edition, so I got a collector's edition. Love that. But, um, again, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what it's about. Um... But I know that there's like the movie and I know that like a lot of people absolutely love this book and that there's a sequel out. So I was like, it's time to finally just, it's just time to read it. So I finally got it and I found this edition and it was so pretty and I was like, okay, sold. I'm getting it. I'm very excited to read this book and I'm excited to um, watch the movie afterwards as well. The next one I have is How the King of Elfim. Elfham? Elfham? I don't know how to say that. Learn to Hate Stories by Holly Black. Um, I found it at Target and I saw people like talking about it and I was like, okay, I gotta get it. And like, honestly, again, look at that. I just, honestly, okay, if 
a book has something printed on like the cover and when I take the dust jacket off I think I'm just gonna start taking the dust jacket off because the inside is always so pretty but um again I don't really I don't know what this is about but I was drawn to it because I think of the illustrations like the illustrations in it are just like so like beautiful I mean and then look at the end pages like that's another thing is that just seeing like stuff like that makes me like immediately want to read the book yeah, I'm excited to read this and I it's gonna be a quick read too because it's only like it's not even 200 pages the next one I have is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco and um this one is also new and I've heard nothing but good things about it and so obviously I was going to buy it and again can we just talk about the cover like gorgeous chest kiss so I don't know what it's about I have absolutely no idea what it's about listen if people are gonna hype up these books I'm gonna buy them like I'm not gonna have any idea what it's about people are just gonna hype up these books they're gonna be like oh kingdom of the wicked was so good you should read it and I'm gonna be like okay so I'm gonna get it and not know what it's about I'm gonna read the back I understood why some thought kissing one of the wicked was addictive. Each time his tongue touched mine, it felt as if the ground beneath me quaked, like we would, like we were a cat cataclysmic event that shouldn't be. I had a really hard time reading that. I'm so sorry. Um. Okay, I'll take it. I'm assuming it's a love story. Again, I'm becoming a hoe for love stories, so it's fine. Sorry, my camera is like about to die, so I'm like trying to speed this up. Last but not least, I have. Lore by Alexandra Bracken. Um, this one, okay, when I bought this one, I didn't even realize that it was the release day. I was just in Barnes and Noble and I was like looking, I've, I've been looking for the cruel prints and I have not been able to find it anywhere. So that's what I was there. I was looking for it and I couldn't find it. And as I was walking out, I saw a table and it had this book on it. And I was like, oh, I think I remember somebody like on Bookstagram talking about like this being released and like them being excited for it. So I was like, all right, look at the cover. It's cool. I'm just going to get it. So I ended up buying it and then I went on um, my bookstagram and I was like, everybody was like talking about it, happy release day, happy release day. And I was like, oh my God, I got it on its release day. So I'm very excited. And then it also came with this like little like packet, but I think I watched her Alexander Bracken's story on um, Instagram and she was talking about it and I think it was like a chapter that was like annotated or something so it was like don't read this until you finish the book so I'm excited to read it and yeah I'm like I don't know what it is but I love like Greek mythology and the fact that I still haven't even finished the Percy Jackson series like what is wrong with me I need to I need to like get on it like really I'm slacking here all right so those are all the books that I have bought within the last three weeks and again it doesn't seem like a lot but 18 books in like three weeks that's a lot like why do I do this why I have look at all these books I have all these books I haven't even read yet and here I am buy more I hope you guys enjoyed it um if you have read any of these books let me know what you thought about them and have you how many books have you bought in the last three weeks let me know because I want to know is 18 books in three weeks normal Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Bye.